Urban Therapy with Sunset 752, and this is your daily go get em ism number 28 for November 2nd, 2014. It's amazing to me how it seems like back in the day, things that happened back in the day keep asking questions about you like back in the day wasn't there right with you. Feel me with what I'm talking about. Every time we think about the things that happened to us back in the day, we question ourselves. Like, why do we do this? Why do we feel this way? Why do we go to this place? Why do we let this person into our, our world, into our lives? We was learning, man. We was learning. But back in the day, keep asking you these questions like it wasn't there. Your history was right, th right there with you, but it keeps acting like it got secondhand knowledge. Feel me what I'm talking about. You know, like, you look at newborn babies. Newborn babies taste everything that they can get their hands on. We call them rug rats for that because they put it up to their mouth. That's how they learn it. That's how they learn it. They want to taste things. Grown-ups are like grown-up babies. We're still learning and we're still tasting things. We might not taste it with our mouths, but we're trying to taste the knowledge. So the taste is the experience, and we're trying to experience everything that seems interesting to us. But then later on, when we either benefit from our experience or we suffer the consequences for our experience, we question, why do we do this? How come we did that? How come we went here? Why do we let this person in our lives? Why aren't these people in our lives anymore? That's back in the day talking to us. Back in the day, it's asking you, like, yo, what happened? And I'm like, back in the day, you was there back in the day. What's good back in the day? You know what I'm saying? So that's my metaphor for the day, y'all. The back in the day. Back in the day, keep asking us questions about what happened. So you tell back in the day this. Back in the day, needs to understand that we had to learn. And we still learning. And we're going to still be learning to the casket closed and they lower it down. Actually lights turn out. You know what I mean? By the time we get the casket, we already done went to wherever we going. You know what I'm saying? It's a good look, though. Listen, yo, there's nothing new under the sun, man. Everything is just recycled. Everything is just recycled. We just replaying the same old record. But we got to learn that song. Now, I'm being metaphorical today, though. I don't want to take y'all too deep, but I'm going to tell y'all like this. Try to make the best decisions in, in your life. So that when back in the day asking you these quest ask you these questions, you have some good answers. Cause you took your time, you calculated things out, and you made the best decisions. And everybody's goal in life is to minimize your pain and to maximize your pleasure. And one of the best ways to do that is to take your time and be patient. And it will work out for you. Yo, I'm Sun752. This is Urban Therapy with Sun, and that's your daily go get em ism number 28. For November 2nd, 2014. Yo, the website is almost done. It's almost done. It's going to be here this week. And I'm serious. It's going to be here this week. That's UrbanTherapyWithSun.com. But for now, make sure you hit us up at MakeAMuscle at MSN.com. Or holler at me at Sun752 at AOL.com. You know that like us on Facebook, Urban Therapy With Sun. And follow us on Twitter, Urban Therapy With Sun. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go for yours. And make sure back in the day understands exactly what you was doing. And I'll holler at y'all tomorrow, man. It's a good look. Peace.